G'day, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a floor plan and extrude it to be a 3D floor plan. In my next video, I'll create some windows and doors. And after that, I'll show you how to also add some furniture to really show what your house is gonna look like. So let's get started. I'll go along with the process and I'll try and narrate as I go. So I'll click on the top sketch plane, click on sketch. I'll make sure I look at it from the top so that'll help. I'm just gonna make a really simple floor plan with two rectangles. You can choose the dimensions as such. If you want to choose dimensions after selecting them, you can add the dimension tool and write 110. You can choose whatever dimensions you want. Let's go 120. Oh, I can't over dimension it, sorry. So I can change over here. Obviously you can't make two contradicting dimensions. I've got, a one room over here, maybe I'll add another room and you can add different shapes as well. But you can see we've got maybe a bathroom, a bedroom, a living area and a kitchen dining. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. Actually, it doesn't make sense to have a bathroom in the middle. So I might add this here and I might delete using the trim tool, this space here. So kitchen, dining, and maybe a living, bedroom and bathroom. Maybe it's a one bedroom apartment. All right, so we've got some lines that represent walls, but I actually want to offset those lines so that I can represent walls. So I'm gonna make them all five millimeters and we'll go as far as we can. That's gonna represent my walls. Click on the green button just now, I can actually go back in. And now we wanna offset these lines to represent the interior walls. Again, I'll offset. And this isn't to scale, um, but you could definitely do this to scale. Sorry, I might just do one at a time. And we'll go, yes, one at a time, offset, five, offset, five. And we'll go all the way around. I can choose whether I go in this way or this way. And then one more wall over here. Five, and then one more wall this way. Awesome. So you can see there, I've got exterior walls and then some interior walls. The last thing I want to do, because I want to extrude all these walls together, if I click in here, oh, they're not all connected yet. So I'm actually just going to cut anything that's blocking that from happening. So all these I can trim using the trim tool. And all of a sudden, that should all connect. Now you can do this with much more complex tool house plans as well. But let's have a look if that works. I should be able to click inside here on the face, click the extrude button, and we're going to choose a height that I think is appropriate, maybe 65. That makes it look realistic. And you can see I've got a floor plan there as well. Now I also want to extrude the base. So I'll click on the other shapes, but this time I'm going to extrude to a much lower height to represent represent the floor and there we go very quickly we've got a floor plan without doors and wall uh, and windows but i'll do that in the next video